their sentences. They're going to be, you know, castigated publicly. They're going to get like, they're going to, the hammer's going to come down on this movement. Do you think that this movement with these white people, do you think it survives the summer? Do you think in September, in the fall, this will, these white people will still have the energy to still, you know, fight back against the way they're being treated in the UK? Possibly, but what it is, um, to be honest, at, um, at, a lot of what you're seeing right now is a lot of hypocrisy because what, what is a lot of these people who you're now seeing in the screens, a lot of them voted for all this mass immigration and low wages. And so Mate, they didn't have a choice. Know, there was no other party that all parties were pro immigration. Like there was no exactly. like, what other party, you know, you got to what should have they voted for? Labour or something? They got you, even you more should, immigration. You, 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 they should have voted UKIP. But they didn't because they look and because because a lot of native Brits are so snobbish and but they're not stuck up in it and the air so high, they didn't want to vote UKIP because they thought UKIP wasn't good enough. And we now know that UKIP would have been good enough uh, back in that uh, twenty fifteen. That example, because uh, one thing I can, one thing that I can um, acknowledge, well, actually not acknowledge, put it, put it this way, long story short, yeah, Cameron, Cameron in 2010 lied and said he was going to get immigration down, but what the problem was, one year later uh, in 2011 with the local election, that was one year after Cameron got, um, got um, elected, and he basically let people know, okay, I'm bringing in immigration, are you still happy with this? And they voted for him in the local election to, to confirm that they was happy with it. So yeah, that's what I said. Right. They, 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 they can be stupid in terms, of the, in terms of like, they, they wouldn't vote for UKIP because they care about being called racist and they, just like they wouldn't vote for the BNP and stuff. I mean, I'll agree with you on that. But, but, the, truth is, you, but, but the truth is, we, not, we knew UKIP was a ra racist because, what's it, how can I say, we, th there, was, there, was a whole, there was a whole load of... Um, I said different ethnic groups in UKIP. E even I don't know about now, but I remember in twenty fifteen there was a whole load of different ethnic groups in UKIP. Let me say this. I, I wouldn't have called it racist to people for UKIP. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on bro. Let, let me let me say this. So these people who voted for this, and now that they're seeing the fruit of that, yes, I think they still have a right to do an about face to, 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 to correct their mistake. I think they have a right to correct their mistake. Um that, that is true. That is true. But the problem is here in Britain a lot of the a lot of these hypocrites don't correct their mistakes. They carry on they carry on and plus I don't think it's a mistake. I think it's it what well, it is is intent because if you vote for if you vote for open immigration, that means you you make your bed, you lay it. You don't get to complain about um that and people are coming in and ruining the country. You open the door wide, and you could have kept it shut. Well, well, he, here's the thing. Here's the thing, though. Though, like, so you that statement right there tells me a lot about what you think about the the people that immigrate to the United States. I mean, to, to the United Kingdom. You think that, like, hey, man, if you ask for immigration from these countries, man, of course they're going to ruin it. So you you think that that's just how those people are? Like, they just. They they they're gonna ruin wherever they go. Is that is, is that safe to say? Not not the migrants, the people, um, the indigenous people, and um, I mean the, the native Brits here because they got they got the door, they got the hand on the door whether to open it or not, and they could have closed it. And, and by, by going up. Do you believe? Do you believe that African people, immigrants from the African diaspora, and immigrants from the Muslim diaspora? When do you believe that when they descend onto a place, they make it worse? It depends your country. I mean, put this way: immigrants of black people come in here. It's been yes. neutral. Hey, 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 that, that, hey, man, I got you up here, man. I, I really appreciate if you answer my fucking question, man. Do you? Yeah, yeah. I'm answering your question. I, 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 I said that. Like, I will say for him because. I don't know about other countries. I can only say for here. I mean, can, am I allowed to answer mm, the, the um how, how no, it is for here? You know the world, but you know that's the world. You know it. these people. You know these people, and you know the world. You 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 have it. This isn't 1850 where you only know about what's going on. And you know the world. You've been ex you've been on the internet. You've been exposed to to a global. You've lived in a global age. Do you think 
that people, immigrants from the African diaspora and Muslim diaspora, when they descend onto a place, a country, a, a do you think they make it better or worse? Or do you think it stays the same? Please just answer that. Percy, I don't know because I haven't been, there's, there's no country I don't know about. Because Yeah, we got the internet, but the truth, the truth is, I personally don't know a lot of things that happen have to the made your country. But what have they done in your country? Have they made your country better, worse, or has it stayed the same? I say, I say, it stayed the same. Come on, look, London, <laughs> London has got a fucking worse and worse and worse. What are you talking about? Come on, who's doing all the stabbings in London? Who is doing that? He, he, the reason why the reason why London got worse because of the native Brits. They invited these people when they could have closed the door. So it, it, no, but that's what. Yeah, but you can't do that and then not answer my question. Listen, I asked you no, a question. I, 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 I answered your question. No, you didn't tell me. I, do 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 immigrants from the African and Muslim diaspora make a place better? Worse, or do they leave it the se- the way they it, it was when they got there? I say, I say, I say, they, they leave, it, leave it the same way it was when they got there. They fucking so, destroy so, it, man! <laughs> Stop lying. They fucking <laughs> annihilate it. Like, dude, that, that whole, are you here? That, what I'm trying to say, if you, can't, if you can't be honest, man, just be honest with us or leave. No, no, you taking up a lot of time to, 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 to blow smoke up our asses, man. Like, 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 like you had the floor. You had the floor for a long time, and I thought we were gonna get somewhere. And it's just like, womp, womp, womp. you kind of like, you kind of like blew me right there. Pause, man. Um. So this is the streets of London, um, and, and I would have accepted they make it better. But I don't know, and then I don't know, and then the same. That's kind of like a cop <laughs> out. I would even accept it if you had said they made it better, because that would have been a stance. You would have at least taken a stance. Agreed. Um, agreed. Salute to salute to the, the streets of London. It says um, this is London in the early 